Uh, hey, Leslie. Yes. Have you been wondering if it's possible to have a free, highly optimized runtime architecture and language for programmable shading and texturing? <laughs> Uh, no, because it is possible due to open shading language. Leslie, tell me more. Okay, John. Open shading language, otherwise known to cool people like me as OSL, has become the industry standard of shading and texturing for animation and visual effects. Shading in visual effects is the part of 3D rendering that makes objects look like different materials, wood, metal, concrete, cloth. Developed at Sony Pictures Imageworks, the language was released mm. <laughs> as open source, meaning it's freely available to anyone. Just like Sony's emails. <laughs> Now, different VFX companies working on the same feature can easily achieve consistent and efficient results, which has contributed to its wide adoption. At last count, it has been used on at least 53 films, including Suicide Squad, Ghostbusters, and this year's Oscar-nominated Kubo and the Two Strings. Oh, OSL was also used in this little, little tiny film called uh, <laughs> Star Trek Beyond. Okay, everyone, um, please applaud for John because he's Sulu. <laughs> for the design, implementation, and dissemination of open shading language, the Academy presents a Technical Achievement Award to Larry Gritz. Come on up, Larry. <laughs> Thank you. I'd like to thank my parents, my sister, my son Jack, and my wife Beth Lockney. Sony Imageworks has been a great environment to push technology forward, and I'm very privileged to work with my main co-implementers of OSL, Cliff Stein, Chris Culla, and Alex Conti, and the rest of the development group, our crack, shader team, and look dev TDs. I thank the company leadership, and especially Rob Bredo and Eric Strauss, for encouraging us to release this and other great software as open source. I'm also indebted to the open source contributors, and the engineers and artists from other companies who took a risk and incorporated OSL into their products and pipelines. Thank you all.